Good morning. This is a video reply to Bear Independence Who Will Rule the Wasteland video that he put out this morning. So, in one sense, to kind of summarize what he was saying, and it's something that I've said for a long time, that is one of the best skills that every single one of us, all of us, can have is knowing when to shut the hell up. That has been a skill that I didn't have the pleasure of learning on my own growing up. That is a, a skill that I learned after being backhanded across the room a few times. So it's important to do two things. Number one, know when the hell to shut up. And number two, being able to discern who you need to follow. See, and this is really no strike against you, Bear or others out there like you, but it is really easy to bullshit people in a camera. There's really very little skill with that, very little skill. And when it comes to this whole prepping thing, first of all, I want to comment that not every day, every second of every day is going to be combat. And in fact, <laughs> like you say yourself, if that's the situation you're going to be finding yourself in, maybe you need to be somewhere else. So I don't live out in the middle of BFE. I live right in the middle of town. And I'm not that concerned about where I live. Why? Because in my opinion, the dumbest approach that a quote-unquote prepper can take is to hide in their hole with their box of crackers. That is absolutely the most nonsensical stupidity that I think I've ever heard. Because eventually, people will find you. And believe me, it doesn't matter how much of an operator you are. All it takes is one mistake. All it takes is them gathering enough people and you're done for. So this whole mindset of hiding out with your box of crackers just doesn't add up. Here's the thing. Not every single person out there needs to be the operator, right? Because the simple matter of the fact is many of them are going to fall too. Some of them just by dumb luck, not seeing the guy that took the shot that got him, whatever the case may be. I think that the prepping community puts far too much attention into this combat mindset and they put very little bit of attention into the good times or not necessarily good times but the, at least somebody's not shooting at you times, right? So I have been consistently trying to talk to the preparedness community about recovery because you all want to gather yourselves around this combat bit or this bit or this bit and we all have our areas that we excel in every single one of us and the thing of it is is so much attention is paid on the combat end of things you pay a lot of attention on the medical end of things which is needed i'm not knocking that all so is the combat that's needed too but not every one of us is going to be able to or needs to be an operator or a doctor. That's just the way it is. The most important thing that any single one of us can be, no matter what it is that we do, is to be an asset. An asset, not a liability. And as long as you find your area and you try to, to as best prepare yourself for the areas that you operate in, that's what's going to be what's most helpful. Who will rule the wasteland? Well, I don't know about where you're at, but I fully intend that this community will rule the wasteland that is our town. Not just me, not just high-speed operators, not just people that can do medical, but all of us that have skills in many different areas. 
I have been harping on the same thing for over a decade here in YouTube because that's what the Father sent me here for. He sent me to give the warning about pole shift and nobody can do any better job than that than Ben Davison and Suspicious Observers. That's just a fact. And he also wanted me to come here and make sure that folks knew about wood gasification and running combustion engines off of wood gasification. It's not some sci-fi, high-tech, they did it in World War II. Everybody's so busy talking about their plate carriers, their AR-15s, and in, in your circle, the, the med kits and stuff like that. Nobody's talking about how they're going to keep the machinery going. In fact, I would say a large part of the preparedness community has written off machinery. That is a very, very fatal mistake because there is no way. I, I have asked this question over and over and over and I'll continue asking it because you all continue to ignore it. Tell me how you intend to plant, harvest, and process enough food for yourself, those around you, and your livestock because you can't do it you can't do it it's a policy that even the notion that we're going to do it is a policy are you Amish because the Amish are the only ones that I know currently that are capable of doing that can the Amish produce enough food for all of us no and to be quite honest I'm not so sure how long the Amish are going to make it and it's going to be because of predator type people going to get what they have and they're too stupid to the predator types are too stupid to work with anybody they just want what they want right now with as little work as possible so they're going to go kill those people so that they can take their livestock instead of working with them and maybe trying to you know get more livestock and and raise more livestock and because you're going to see a lot of people with that mindset. We've already got that mindset today. If we didn't have that mindset, then how in the hell are so many people in our society so up to their ears in debt? Because they got to have it now. And that is going to be tenfold when we are dealing with the wasteland. So, probably the most important things that we can do is build a community not just a small group of people to hide in a hole with a box of crackers but to build a community where we take from the skills of everyone in that community I'm the guy that can get things going I'm the guy that can fix things I'm the guy that can fabricate I can weld I can machine I'm that guy I am also extremely good at strategic planning not that I've ever been in in any way associated with the military. It's just a skill that I have. It is what it is. I'm, I'm very good with, with logic. I'm very good with uh, patterns and how to, you know, knowing how to go outside the patterns. Stuff like that. Thinking outside of the box. Uh, as well as thinking inside of the box. I'm one of those people that not only am I ambidextrous in my hands. But I'm also ambidextrous in my brain, I'm right and left brain. I just can't do art other than guitar. But I can't draw for nothing. Believe me, I've always wanted to. But I can, I can fulfill so many areas when it comes to keeping people's gear going, when it comes to getting their gear going, when it comes to understanding theory of basic principles of how everything from combustion engines to computers to you name it I spent 51 years learning as much as I can about how things work and not just you know how to replace this part with the new part not just that no it goes much 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 further than that I want to know the theory. I want to know how something works. I want to know the how and the why. But here's the most interesting thing about y'all, all of you on YouTube. You continue just to kick Mike because he doesn't know shit. 
kick Mike because he doesn't know shit. I don't know who the fuck you've all been talking to, but I know a hell of a lot of people that would tell you otherwise. I want to help. And really, honestly, the only thing that I need to be able to help is for you guys to step the fuck out of my way a little bit. So I can start bringing a little bit of this other knowledge of this other world that the prepping community don't even think about to them. What would be really great is if you could give me a little help. It's not about me, 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 me. It's not about building my ego, man. It's about saving lives. When are you going to stop bullshitting people about saving lives and actually focus on saving lives? Because that's going to take far more knowledge and skills than how to shoot somebody in the face. It's going to take far more skills than knowing how to keep somebody from bleeding out. There are entire areas of knowledge that the prepping community has not even begun to think about. I don't possess the skills for all of that. But I can damn well fix just about anything that you set in front of me. I can damn well fabricate just about anything that you need. I can machine it. I can weld it. I can operate it. It's about being able to shine in your particular area. But in order to do that, some people need to learn the skill of when to shut the hell up. Probably one of the hardest skills, I think, for, for people to learn, especially in today's society. You didn't have a choice with my dad. You didn't have a choice. You know, even when the old man didn't think I was listening, I was always listening. I was always listening. I was just a stubborn ass. I gave that up when I surrendered to the Father. Bear, I don't know if you've actually ever truly surrendered to the Father. If you have, then you need to relearn it. You need to relearn it. It's not about being a big YouTube star. It's about helping people. It's about saving lives. It's about being the person that you actually claim to be. Not just bullshitting people to believe it so that you can get more personal gain. Let's help people. I've been here for over 10 years. Let's help people. In the very least, quit fucking kicking me. Unless you can bring to the table what I can, quit kicking me. Shalom.